there so today I'm going to be filming a kind of get ready with me using a bunch of my favorite makeup from Aliexpress these aren't necessarily like new favorites and then are old favorites they're just a bunch of what I would consider to be like really good makeup from Aliexpress I was going to film just a you know favorites as in just like showing you the products but I thought well actually why not do like a get ready with me because then you can see the products in action also like I'm wearing my hoodie and my headband because it's freezing like it is a freezing apparently my radiator isn't working he said no I'm not heating up today and you can just uh, freeze your sassy little ass off during filming so I'm really really sorry about Oh, there's honeys. Oh, I'll give a little wave. Oh, bye! Oh, sorry about that, guys. So honeys is just taking the boys out. And I was like, oh, guys, look up to the window. Mummy's going to wave. I completely forgot, like, awful mum over here. But then I just saw the car, like, peeping around. I was like, oh, shit. Like, literally, where? Hey. Anyway, guys, so sorry. This has been the longest intro ever. So I'm just going to get straight into this. I'm going to be quite quick, or I'm going to try and be quite quick, like going through each of the products, but you know me, I like to talk, so yes, anyway, so today we're going to begin with a, a primer, and the primer that we're going to be using is by His B2UT, B2UT, it throws me off every single time, this is the Unicorn Serum, and it's, uh, sorry, it's a skin enhancing antioxidant serum, uh, Unicorn Essence, uh, they have a definitely in a little bit of a way ripped off the um is it Vasali unicorn elixir i don't know it's way out of my price range so i don't care to know it has a, a dropper and if you can kind of see the actual serum itself is a light pink shade and it's actually got lots of little kind of glitters in there um which is very similar to that Vasali feco one which is way out of my price range so I'm pretending it doesn't exist um, but it's hard to do that when every single Instagrammer insists on like you know doing that thing where they pop it on their face and it looks like they're crying if I see that one more fucking time I'm going to I don't know what I'm going to do but it won't be anything violent because I'm a pacifist but anyway guys so this is what this serum looks like like sometimes I feel like with serums they are just like packed with oil just for the hell of it but I don't feel like this one is like that it actually feels very like enriching and um, moisturizing for your skin and once you've kind of rubbed it all in it definitely has that you know like tacky feel uh, so I think you know it is a really good base because of that I know that the product looks like pink and glittery um as you can't can't see there on my hand i feel like as soon as you start to like blend it into your skin oh, that pinkness goes the glitteriness disappears i don't know where it goes to but you can't really detect any of it on your skin so if you were thinking to yourself oh my gosh like i don't really fancy like a glittery serum uh, i promise you like the glitter it just like dissipates off to like a glitter black hole or something so my face is feeling nicely kind of tacky now it feels moisturized are you ready skin yes she's ready and next we're going to use a, a liquid illuminator this one is by maria aora and it's called glow quite simply glow so i actually got this a while ago but it's just one that i i really enjoy so i've just kind of you know thought I wanted to show it today I thought yes this is the video to show it today so this is in the shade golden peach I almost said beach it could be golden beach and that would make sense too but no this is a golden peach and it definitely is very peach almost gold and not necessarily the right you know shade for my very pale skin right now but we're going to just go with it because why not i'm just gonna put like a tiny amount on I, I remember when i first tried this and i just went in like i went in with the most amount of product and it, oh, i looked like i just you know been on a sunbed for five years the texture of this what's going on there what the feck is going on there oh my gosh 
Did I forget to remove some of my makeup from just that, that patch? But this also leaves your skin feeling a slight bit tacky. Not as tacky as the Beauty Elixir, but quite tacky. So again, I've just like overdone the base. Let's let's be real. I've overdone the fucking base. Also, you only need a tiny amount, maybe more, if this isn't too dark for your skin. But it just spreads out really, really nicely. And you know, I've tried liquid highlighters from NARS from MAC, from Laura Mercier and this one is just as good and it's literally a fraction of the price. Okay so we've done the base. Next we are going to move on to a Found Diddly A Shone. and the Found Diddly A Shone that we're going to be using today is by Fira. This looks very similar to the little Colourpop um foundation in terms of like I don't know it's just a cute little short stubby tube with a pump I mean that's I mean I'm sure there's lots of other foundations that actually fit that profile you know if safe say if this this bottle of foundation had committed a heinous crime and you know the police like put a picture up of it saying wanted this bottle of foundation there'd probably be loads of other bottles of foundation that would be arrested because they all look very very similar you know so anyway so this is the Fira coverage foundation I had zero luck with foundations from Aliexpress until I found this one I'd literally like almost given up but then I tried this one I was extremely like pessimistic like I was very pessimistic I did not think this was going to work but it's actually really really beautiful and um anyway I'm just going to like apply as I'm talking because I feel like otherwise like we're not going to get anywhere you know what I mean so <clears throat> so I have this in the shade nude and it's very light sorry guys I had a biscuit just before I started filming and apparently you know that biscuit is still stuck in my throat so I do apologize for that um but anyway yeah this foundation is so good it's actually like it gives you such a nice coverage. Oh my gosh, this is a look. Yes, bitch, look at me go. Look at me go. I mean, sorry guys. So this foundation is definitely too light for me. I, you know, have gone from a liquid highlighter that's too dark for me, straight in with a liquid, oh, a foundation even, a foundation that's too light for me. So anyway, guys, um, I like to apply this with my fingers. Um, to begin with, they do advise to apply with a brush, um, but I like very rarely have brushes that are clean. Um, actually, I do on holy vaginas and hairy testicles. I do, I've got a brush. Okay, I don't know who cleaned this, but someone did. Maybe I did it in my sleep or something. If I did, oh, well done me. I mean, really. It's a little bit thicker than, you know, the average kind of foundation. And I just like to use a brush because I just feel like otherwise it can just get a little bit streaky and whatnot. Whatnot? What the hell does whatnot mean? Just put two words together when you have no idea how to end a sentence. And whatnot I just hope that no one actually questions it, you know, but it kind of sounds right, so I'm going with it. So yeah, as you can see, this foundation applies beautifully, she says, with none of it, <laughs> none of it on the end of my nose, but it's just a beautiful foundation. It definitely compares with um, more expensive, like better known brands foundations. I think it looks absolutely beautiful on camera. It definitely is a high coverage. It doesn't over overly emphasize like fine lines, pores. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy. It's got kind of a matte finish, but it's not like I'm a dead kind of matte finish. It's more kind of like a natural kind of matte. You've still got some kind of life in your skin after using this. So I like to use this foundation for filming just because it's it's one of those foundations that just for some bizarre reason looks really good on camera um, in videos when you're taking selfies. I'm a narcissist so I take loads. I'm not really a narcissist. Sometimes I wish I was though like I know that sounds like really bizarre and I don't mean to be offensive to you know, anyone that's ever encountered a narcissist because I know how evil they can be but sometimes I think to myself, like, 
like I wish I I wish I believed in myself more, you know, like a narcissist. Because let's face it, they believe in themselves. They think they are fabulous. And I wish I had a little bit more of that sometimes, you know. But anyway, so guys, this is the foundation. Really, really love it. The only thing that I will say, and this is a massive disappointment. Like, I don't want to just tag it on as if it's something that isn't that bad. They have such a limited range of shades. And even the darkest shade that they sell wouldn't even be considered like a medium shade so i mean i feel like these eastern kind of brands they cater for a different audience you know than western brands but but still like i think it's still such a shame that they there isn't a shade that would suit everyone just have to say that, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I really like the look of this. This is what it's looking like now. I've got a nice amount of coverage going on. It definitely isn't perfect. Like, you can see my pores. It, you can see that I'm definitely wearing something upon my face. But I just think, like, you'll see once it kind of sets on camera, it just looks just really flawless. So for that, I am loving it. Okay, so we've done the base. We've done the founded liation. Next, um... We would do a concealer, right? But I've not really met a concealer that I love from AliExpress. The closest concealer that I found from AliExpress that I have not wanted to just throw out of the window and then burn is by You Can Be. So this, for me, I mean, it's not the best concealer, but it's definitely the best of a bad bunch that I've tried from AliExpress. I don't mean to sound horrible, but that's the truth i mean how awful is that like you're the best of a bad bunch like that's no compliment is it that's just downright mean but yeah anyway so i mean it's super affordable and it's just not bad so this is in the shade porcelain as you can see the packaging is actually really really cute like i really think that they've given it a lot of thought it looks really fancy it actually feels quite weighty like i do think they've copied tart though like let's let's just like We'll talk about the elephant in the room. They've definitely taken some inspiration from Tarte, but I mean, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What am I even doing? I don't know. But I'm just going to pop this just a little bit under my eyes. I'm being restrained today. I'm not going to pop too much on. Just a little bit there, a little bit there. And I will pop, oh, pop some on my lip that's what I planned that's just what I always wanted just a blob of concealer on my lip I'll just put some there put a C again this this the restrained approach that I was taking completely discarded uh pop some down the nose I mean why the hell not and what should we draw today maybe a unicorn horn should we do a unicorn horn on my forehead so we've got that bit like that that bit there and we'll do some magic coming out from the unicorn horn at the top just spreading its, its magic and happiness into the world look that's the unicorn horn oh yes mm. do you like my unicorn horn that's great oh my gosh a work of art someone phone up the museum of modern art right now they're going to want to see this. Do you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm, I never do this. I'm going to use the brush, actually, to just blend out this concealer. I've never done this. I always use either my finger or a sponge. So, like, yes, this sounds good to me. And it means that I don't have to go and wet a sponge. So, I'm happy about that, you know. Um, and it's actually worked really nicely. Okay. Hmm. Okay. She is liking that. I'm just going to go over my eyes with the brush and um, do with the chin. Do you know what? This is impressing me today, this concealer, because it's blending out so beautifully. I love the shade of it. I think it's perfection. It's definitely brightening. Oh my gosh, I think I am falling in love. Gosh, I think I am changing my mind, um, which a lady has every right to do um do you know what i'm liking it oh my gosh like to be honest like i can't really remember what my thoughts were when i first tried this but i just know that i've not reached for it since so then i was thinking oh i mustn't really liked it very much but i'm liking it now it's so brightening on the under eye mm, yes oh gosh now i have to actually get rid of this 
masterpiece on my forehead, but hey ho, we'll, we'll do it. So we'll just blend off the unicorn horn and all the magic that's being squirted out of it. Ah, right, okay, so next we need to set all of this down and there's a lot to set down so i'm going to be using this loose setting powder this is by a brand called fana i actually got this on ebay not aliexpress um but it's kind of like the same thing i'm sure you'll be able to find this on aliexpress so this is the luxury powder and it's in the shade 01 it is a very light light kind of white powder it doesn't really have any kind of shimmer in it or anything like that it is just like a finishing like matte powder but i really really like that i mean i i really really like it do you think i could get away with you using my brush to bake because like i'm determined not to have to go and wet a sponge in this video so i'm going to just like go like this i'm going to pop it i've got loads of it look at that guys if that is an excessive i do not know what is so i'm just going to look Pop that under my, oh my gosh, this works a treat. Why have I never done this before? Who needs beauty sponges anyway? I mean, really guys, I'm just popping it. Oh my gosh, there's loads though. Wow. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to pop some on there. Oh, wow. I've never had this much powder on my face before. Apart from when I was at university. I mean, obviously. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's loads on my face right now. Do you know what? I'm quickly going to do some contouring so that I can bake. I'm doing everything today. I'm doing the most. Doing it all. This is happening. So I'm going to just quickly um, contour. Like, I don't have a favourite contour from AliExpress. Really, because none have extravagantly impressed me. But I'm going to use one that I just thought was okay. Like, okay. Like, how bitchy did I sound then? Okay. So bitchy. Okay, so the contour that I'm going to use today is this one. It's by Mini Star, and it's the Define and Contour, Define and Conquer Contour Kit. I see what you did there. I mean, really. So I'm going to be using obviously this shade. It would be a little bit strange if I opted to use the light shade. Uh, this is a lovely, like, cool toned brown. Uh, so I'm just going like, to pop, pop this on. Pop, 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 pop. I felt like I was in a rap song then, like pop, 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 pop. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with um, Making a Murderer 2. I'm just going through a phase right now of just being really interested in like court cases and watching court cases and just learning about people that are like psychopathic. Like, do you know about the Chris Watts, like... Chris Watts situation over in like Colorado and he basically allegedly which he definitely well he's admitted to it now he murdered his wife and two daughters it's absolutely horrifying and mind-boggling how someone who appeared so normal to everybody else could literally do the most heinous horrific act ever how can anyone kill their own kids like and I, you know what, reading comments under like YouTube videos about this, some people are saying like, oh yeah, like I could kind of understand why he killed his wife. And you're thinking, what? No, you can't say that. That's just as psychopathic. There is never, ever an excuse for killing anybody. Like, have these people never heard of divorce? Like, did you not realise you can just divorce? You know what I mean? Uh, you don't have to like kill them. Um, but anyway, it's so sad, like so sad. But it really fascinates me at the same time, you know? Anyway, guys, right, so I feel like I've done my contouring. This contour isn't bad. Like, I think it blends out relatively easily. Um, it just isn't great. Like, it, it's just not my favourite. So, now that I have done that, we are going to... Oh, oh, sh oh shit, I've just dropped it. Right, so, I'm going to get more of my Fana powder. By the way, the reason why I love this Fana powder is that it makes your skin look so smooth like like photoshop smooth it's beautiful so that's that's why i like this powder it's super affordable so i'm just gonna go like this do you know what a brush works so much better than a sponge for this usually like i would use a wet beauty sponge but a brush 
work so much better. Like, what have I been doing with my life? Oh my gosh, I'm covered. I'm covered. Honey is going to wonder what's been happening while he's been out with the boys. Like, what has Amwen been doing up in her bedroom, covered in white powder? Okay, so guys, next we are going to move on to... Should we do eyebrows? Like, let's do eyebrows next. Why did they not? So I'm going to be using a product by You Can Be. Uh, this is the Intense Gel Eyebrow. And this is in the shade Grey Brown. Okay, so I did try this product. But unfortunately, I the, sh the shade that I used was Dark Brown. The product, brilliant. Like, no, no problems with the product. Apart from the shade. The shade... Holy vaginas, my eyebrows have never been quite so intense and vivacious ever in their life. So, sorry, I was just opening that then. So, this is, yeah, the You Can Be Gel Eyebrow. I really recommend this if you want to have a really good quality, long-lasting, easy to apply and very cute looking eyebrow product so as you can see this is in the shape of a little bell it's silver just so you know like it kind of like i feel like you could look at this and think oh my gosh like that looks so classy kind of thing and, it, and yes it does but it is plastic and it's very light so like I, I just wanted to set your expectations and i'm not criticizing this in any way because it's so affordable but I don't want you to like be buying this thinking, oh my gosh, that looks heavy, weighty, it's metal, it's probably encrusted with um, pearls and diamonds. No, it's not. It's like plastic, it's light, um, but they made an effort and I love the fact that they made an effort, but I'm just being completely like, you know, realistic with you to so your expectations a set. In my office, we call that managing expectations. I hate that phrase and I can't believe I've just used it in a YouTube video, so... Mm. Yeah, we've got the bell. You've got the little uh, brush in the top bit, which we don't use because I, I think it's shit. And then you've got the actual promenade down at the bottom. So yeah, as I said, this is in the shade grey brown. I'm hoping that this is going to be a bit more subtle on my face than the dark brown. I'm sure it will be. See why they bought it, can't you? went to Magic the Pets for, for oh. shrimp. He went for shrimp. He oh. <laughs> went oh. for shrimp. Oh, oh. Well, honey, can we have He went for too? shrimp. <laughs> I want Dowdin. She's got Mommy, a cocoa. I want oh, Dowdin. I want Dowdin. In a minute, you can have a hold. You can sit down now. Is he a boy or girl? A girl. Oh. Yeah. He went, he went for shrimp. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah. She's got a lovely little face, Alexia. Look her little face. How big will she get to? Um, she goes about this big. She's a long one. Yeah. Oh, oh, Can we have one? Oh, Jay, she's gorgeous. She is, yeah. <laughs> she's so cute. You can see why you, we, why you come away with one. <laughs> she said, what? I want one now, Jade. <laughs> well, there was four. The, uh, they, they all come in on one day. Yeah. And there was four of them. Then by the time we got there at half seven, there was only her and her brother oh. left. Look. She is so <laughs> cute. Bye. Oh my gosh, that was so unexpected. But that is um, Anton's daughter, Jade's new little pug. Oh my gosh, I want one now. Like literally, so, so cute. This shade definitely suits me like so much more than the dark brown. I would describe this as being like, it kind of like a taupe, but maybe a little bit like it's got more brown than gray in it. I love the shade. This is just so easy to apply. It's not as thick as the ABH Brow Promenade. It's definitely a little bit a little bit more oily. I think for the price, I think it's brilliant. So I definitely recommend this uh, gel eyebrow product. I've only just realized because apparently like I don't have any attention to detail, but it's a gel and that is definitely like how I describe it in the sense that like I said, it glides on. 
Uh, and it's a thinner consistency than the very creamy, thick, rich ABH Brow Promenade, which, by the way, I love. Um, I can definitely tell this is a gel. You know, you can see there is a big difference in consistency and how they apply, but I love this one. Also, this is waterproof. It'll just last all day, and it's really freaking me off because can you see the bald patch? Oh, my gosh. Like, I was thinking to myself, I mean, can you deal with it? No, I cannot. I cannot. I'm going to... I'm dealing with it, but I'm not dealing up with it. Like, I'm not putting up with it. I'm just going to get rid of it. That's what she said. Why would she say that? What? I don't know. But anyway. Oh, my gosh. That puppy is so cute. Like, me and Honey's always said, like, we're not really dog people. But, you know, when you see a puppy like that, it's like when you see a baby. Like, I am a baby person. But, I don't know. When you see a cute little baby or puppy, you just fall in love. And you're like, ah, I need one right now. Um, But... Anyway, I feel like I need to get this baking off my face right now because I, it, it's a lot, you know. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit dry, so I'm going to remove the bake. This is the reason why I love the Fana powder because I just feel like there, there's no other powder that I've used that makes my face look so smooth and perfected. Do you see what I mean? It just like my under eye just looks like, yes, bitch, yes. Who is she right now? Who... Who, is, who even is she right now? I mean, really, guys. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the eyes. And I am going to be using my favourite eyeshadow palette from AliExpress. It took quite some time to actually pick my favourite palette. It was a definite toss-up between the Twilight palette by Fuckle Your, the Week Your Favours palette by Fuckle Your, and the one that won was the Dreamland palette by You Can Be. I just feel like, in terms of, like, the quality... The shades, this is the one that I've used the most, so I just kind of based, based it on that. So yeah, this is a Dreamland palette. It is a pretty much exact dupe for the um, Lime Crime Venus XI palette in terms of like the shades. It's just like identical pretty much. And I have the Lime Crime palette. I'll put a picture up now so you can like compare them side by side. I definitely prefer the formula in this palette. In the Lime Crime palette, the eyeshadows can be a bit wishy-washy. They're not as pigmented as in this palette. I just prefer this palette, which is why I reach for this palette and not my Lime Crime one. I'm going to just like put you in fast forward, but I will kind of point out which shades I'm going to be using. I'm going to be beginning with this beautiful like peachy uh, pink shade. Already, you can definitely see we have a lot. Why am I talking? Oh my gosh, I'm like, I, it's almost like I want my videos to be an hour long, you know? Okay, so I have it done. The eyes, I tried to do like a cool halo eye. Didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but that is no reflection on the uh, formula of the eyeshadows. These are so easy to work with, so pigmented, just beautiful. And if you're a fan of these pinky, maroon, plum, aubergine, chocolate brown, shimmer and mattes, I think that you would love this palette. So next... We're going to move on to eyeliner and I have a whole bunch here. So I have the You Can Be Flash Metallic Eyeliners and I also have the Han Diane uh, Long Lasting Eyeliner. I think for the look that we've got going on today, oh, I just don't know actually, would purple go with this? I just don't know guys. Oh, I'm just thinking like 
no i don't think purple my liners are sensational they are metallic they're rich in pigment easy to apply and they are so long lasting they literally will not come off until you go in with your makeup remover so i really like those and it's a very close call but i think i'm going to use the hand i am today just because i just feel like you know this hot pink is just going to pop with the eye look please let's have a moment of silence while i attempt to apply this. So this is the eyeliner. I must say that since I used it last time, like it's very wet and liquidy i mean that's probably no surprise but it did it, it 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 there was a lot of it coming out so i have got a much thicker line than i would probably of like aim to go for you know but it's fine like you can get the measure of it it's very pink i think it's great value for the price so next we're going to move on to a blush again this was a real tough one because i have loads of blushes that i love from aliexpress but i decided to go for the one that i've mentioned least in any of my videos and that's the oh at this point i still don't know but okay i'm gonna go for the hand diane ripping off tart blush although the second option was the here's to beauty um this is the mineralized blush in the shade angelica this one is so sheeny peachy glowy beautiful um but i'm gonna go with the hand diane just because i feel like the shade of it actually will complement the pink on my eyes i think it'd be crime not to use a pink blush with this eye look so i will grab my little oh no that's not my blush brush that's my bronzing blush that would have been a disaster this is a beautiful like bubble gum like pastely pink kind of shade i've not used this brush before it's by bh cosmetics so uh yeah this brush is uh having its first time oh, i'll pop a little bit more just on the apples of my cheeks so i definitely do feel like this blush has just the right amount of pigment it's not not pigmented but it's not overly pigmented that it just becomes so intimidating it has a little bit of sheen to it so it's definitely not like a matte a matte blush um but i think it's really really pretty i definitely think i applied too much but oh well so next we're going to move on to mascara and the mascara that i'm going to be using today is by you can be um i promise like this isn't like just a you can be video even though i know a lot of the products have been by you can be but this is the only mascara that i've ever tried from aliexpress that i actually liked i've tried a few and they've all been like totally shit very lengthening but it's not really volumizing so i'm going to pop a little bit of this on and we can kind of see it in action but this kind of figure eight wand i've just done a first impression on this so if you do want to see like the full video uh you can check my older videos see what i mean like it's not very volumizing at all it's just uh it's very lengthening and if that's what you are looking for then i think you would like this but you know, like it's not my favorite but it's my favorite again of a bad bunch on aliexpress and i don't mean that like hatefully it's it's just the truth you know it's definitely very 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 lengthening indeed but it's just it doesn't make your lashes look thick and voluminous but it is really good on the bottom lashes just because the wand is very narrow and thin so it makes it really easy to apply to those tricky lower lashes and can you see as well look this oh fucking bit of mascara up here do you know what i'm gonna leave it and i'm gonna just do the pick off technique at the end um, because I don't want to ruin anything. So just to finish off the video, I'm going to do my highlighter and lipstick. So I'm going to spray some 
fix this isn't why do i keep calling it fix plus i'm so used to saying this is fix plus this is the pro fix makeup revolution uh, setting spray ah oh um oh uh, no ah oh, what happened oh my gosh i thought this was a bad situation how's it even got there oh Oh guys, this is this is <sighs> guys. There's no way, no way back from this unless I just literally wipe the whole mound around. Like, why did that even happen? Well, I guess this mascara isn't waterproof then, or maybe it just hasn't dried. I don't know, but I'm pissed, pissed, guys. What is this? Oh, it's gone everywhere. I'm actually, genuinely pissed off. This is just spoiled the whole lot, but you know what? No, I'm not going to let it get to me. <sighs> but, I mean, I'm just going to do the highlight. I'm genuinely upset right now. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm so pissed off right now. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do my highlight, and then I'm going to try and correct the fecking mascara. Oh, guys. Okay, so this is my favourite highlighter. I can't... <laughs> I feel like I can't be happy anymore, but this is the Rose gold 0203 colors illuminator palette and my favorite shade is this beautiful yellow gold um it's it's extremely extremely blinding i feel like no one can really appreciate the beautiful highlight on my face because of the shit show that is going on with the fucking mascara that's really pissed me off that has guys like, I'm just going to have to laugh or I'm going to just cry. This is one of those situations guys and I know it's a first world problem. There's people out there actually dealing with real issues but oh guys it's that pissed me off so much guys. I mean really guys I mean mm. Okay, so next we're going to move on to lipstick and I'm going to use my favourite liquid lipstick formula from AliExpress. This is by Miss Rose and it's simply called the Matte Long Lasting and Waterproof Liquid Lipstick. This one is a pinky nude and it's in this shade, like what shade are you? There's no indication, what the heck, like why? Oh my gosh, I feel like I've just descended into fury, panic anger so yeah it doesn't say what shade it is but i will go back through my aliexpress order history which whew, there's a lot of history there and i will uh, confirm okay so guys if you just give me a couple of hours I'm going to try and correct this situation. I don't know if I can bring it back, but god damn, I'm going to try. Okay, wish me luck, guys. <sighs> I mean, my face just looks fecked, and believe it or not, like I really wanted this look to be like really, really nice. But this is the finished look. I'm glad that you got to see the eyeshadow before the mascara so cruelly destroyed it. But anyway, guys, so I love the liquid lipstick because um, I love the shade. It's a beautiful, like, brownie pinky nude. It's super comfortable. Like, you can barely feel it on your lips. That's all liquid lipsticks are. It's a touch drying, but it's nowhere near as drying as a lot of other liquid lipstick formulas that I've tried. Um, I love the shade. It definitely deepens up as it dries. I just think it's a beautiful kind of go-to kind of nudie shade. Okay, so guys, I'm so sorry that we had the dilemma. I'm sorry you had to see me get annoyed um, towards the end of this video, but I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye. There's four of them. By the time we got there at half seven, there's only her and a brother oh. left. Look. She is so <laughs> cute. But I can't sit down at my desk and do my makeup because she's jumping and she cries. Oh, yeah. Really? You've got a hole over your shoulder. It's like, I can't do my makeup with one hand. Oh, <laughs> look at her eyes. <laughs> Hello. And how are you? Eyes. You are. Oh, thank you so much for putting them over. Eyes. Yeah, she's got lovely little eyes. She's <laughs>
wants to give you a lick, don't she? Look how yeah. she is. Long as she's long as she's right next to you, she's relaxed. Yeah, she is. Look. Oh. She's dead good. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's when you see him in like, because Jay brought her to the car, I said, oh, Jay said she's miles better than I expected. You can see why you go in for shrimp so and come out of the book, can't you? <laughs> you, you? At that point, we you would have, so would have, yeah. We'd have gone in for fish food, like, oh, okay, then. Oh, she's... Amin would have been like, oh, no, please, please. I want the doggy to come and play with me. I know. Like, on this part, back, you can see I've got a foundation. And I was like, oops. Hello. She is a, 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 a foundation, Jay. Yeah, a bob to this mind. I was like, oops. Oh.